First up, now let's include this due date within our reminder rows. Very simply, we'll add an element next to our due date text and have a div that wraps around our reminder due date. So go to render reminders, find your reminder text, and let's have another div next to our reminder text that is just reminder.due date. Now, we want to wrap this whole thing as a list item itself. Let's wrap our reminder text around a div, and another div, and the closing tag, and go ahead and grab that reminder due date div and place it next to it. That way, it renders right next to our delete button. Now go ahead and save. Let's add another reminder. Go to the dentist once more. Why not? Pick a random date, say 12 p.m. And there we go, we have our reminder text rendering right at the bottom. Now I want to accentuate it, and an easy way to do that is taking advantage of some more JSX and wrapping it in an M tag, which is short for emphasize, which will essentially give it an italicized look. And then once again, we have to add a reminder, 12 o'clock p.m. Cool, so now that it's emphasized, we have it in italics. So our date's looking nice, but it just seems like something a robot might want to interpret, not human users. So we want to turn this JavaScript string into a human-friendly timestamp. Luckily, software engineers have already solved this problem by writing entire libraries devoted to this exact functionality. So let's head back to your terminal and install a library called Moment. Make sure you're in your actual project directory, so coding React Reminder Pro, or whatever directory that you have your React projects in, and npm install Moment and save. As a side note, the great thing about developing with React is that you will have access to the thousands of JavaScript libraries out there already to improve your application. It's just a few clicks on Google, a couple minutes of reading, and an npm install away. So now that we have it installed, we can import moment from moment at the top of our JSX application. Let's import moment from moment. Now let's add some moment logic to our reminders due date. So find the reminder due date, and we'll use moments from now function, which takes a JavaScript date and returns a human-friendly string interpreting that date. So first off, we'll need this text to be a JavaScript date. So let's declare a new date and argue the reminder due date as the first parameter. Now we need to wrap this whole thing in a moment object. And then we'll go ahead and call from now, camel cased. Let's save and check how it looks on the Reminder Pro application. So once more, I still haven't gone to the dentist. <laughs> 25th, 12 o'clock PM. And awesome, doesn't that look so much better? Instead of having that weird looking JavaScript string which says 2017 1 25 T 12 o'clock, it just says in 11 days, Nice and neat. Now let's add some additional functionality. Perhaps the most lacking thing with this app component or application in general compared to other ones is that whenever we refresh the page, we start with a clean slate. However, ideally, we'd want to access the same reminders we added before whenever we revisit the application. So we can take advantage of cookies in the user's browser to have a local history of all of their reminders. Let's implement that next.